and welcome to you Richards how to make paper patty pans we're going to be using baking paper and I've got a caterers pack here but it's really quite economical to buy and we're going to use our patty pans and these look very similar to what you buy in the cake shops or sort of little gourmet delis what you're going to have to do is find something that is going to fit roughly in the bottom of the patty pan now I've found without looking too hard I found three things that fit quite easily okay you could use a small tin you could use a scone cutter but I'm sure you've got some little jar or something in your pantry that you'll be able to use and now I'm going to do this by eye but you need a about a 125 mil or five inch square of the baking paper parchment paper and then you can either do it with a knife quite easily without harming yourself you could use scissors if you like but it's pretty quick and simple to do and they have two little squares okay now just get your whatever it is that you're going to use and just put it over the top centrally and push it down like so sit it in there and it'll hold okay now if you want to have the little pleated version like you see in the shops do the same thing go about 125 mils of it and put your paper square over the top of it then push down on one side like so and then down on the other side like so and you'll have one of those, one of those little games that you play when you're at school and that's what you have and then just press the pleats in it like so and you'll see that arrangement so do the same thing with the other one it takes a little longer to do it this way but if that's the effect that you're after that should work pleat it on the corner like so and then just sit the whole thing upside down in your patty paper and then when you take it out you'll have the neat little pleats in there basically like so And continue with the rest. I'm going to be making hot cross muffins with these to serve to the tradies that are working here at the moment. Work out where it roughly half is and just tear it down like so. You can use the serrated cutter and just pop them in. They will hold after a little while, really easy. And there you have it, Cheeky Richard's easy life hack on how to make patty papers out of baking paper. Really simple, really quick and really cheap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our hot cross muffins.